Hey guys, it's me, Firefly Parker, and this Friday's Friday Day Friday Game Night game is Bloody Mary. I have it right here on my phone, as you can see, and I'm going to show you how to play it, and I'm going to teach you how to play it. <clears throat> you're you're wondering whether Bloody Mary is real or just an urban legend. Well, she's real, or at least she was. This is the real story of Bloody Mary. You're probably wondering if she is real or just an urban legend. Well, the truth is that she's real or at least she was real. The legend of Bloody Mary is based on a true story. Ooh, creepy. <clears throat> According to the legend, you have to stand in the bathroom with one candle lit, I'm gonna use two, and say the name Bloody Mary into the mirror three times in a row. I'm going to say it 13 times, just makes sense. It is only the bravest of children who would attempt to do this. Well, I did it a couple of times, once in October and once in February, so I'm pretty brave. Because this story says it will summon her ghost. Which, you know, I am a big ghost believer. I really am. If you see her ghostly face in the mirror, it could have... One of the, if you see her ghostly face in the mirror, it could have one of the following terrible consequences. Your eyes being whipped out and your face horribly scared, scarred, being found dead with claw marks all over your face and body, Disappearing mysteriously from the bathroom and ending up trapped in the mirror with the ghost for, for eternity. You could also be driven insane and drop dead on the spot. Bloody Mary legend. <coughs> the history of the chanting game is based on mixed up legends and history that over the years have become the main basis for the story surrounding the urban legend. The most common story told is that Bloody Mary was a witch that lived over a hundred years ago who dabbled in the black arts. She was found out and executed. The, the second story is more modern. A local woman was, was in, involved in a fatal car accident and her face was horribly scarred before she died. She reappeared in the mirror and summoned with that same horrific face. There is another suggestion that the name Maryworth was derived from a victim of the Salem Ghost Witch Trials. The fourth story is that Bloody Mary is based on a historical figure Queen Mary I of England. And it also says here that it's also um, Elizabeth Bathory, but I honestly don't think that's true. And that's of course. Oh yeah, um. Oh yeah, she did bathe in the blood of her victims, but you don't need to know about that. So yeah. That was the Bloody Mary game, and yeah, I'm looking forward to be playing it with you guys. And uh, for those of you who are wondering, especially you, Brittany44, especially you, Brittany44, if I'm going to be wearing my Brittany's t-shirt, 
Well, I might, or why not? But, you know, <laughs> I'm weird that way. <laughs> so, um, thank you so much for watching. This is Firefly Parker. Comment down below if you like the game Bloody Mary. And also, too, comment down below if you're excited to play Bloody Mary. I know I am. So, um, anyways, guys. Hmm. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And this post mid that post notifications on so that you know when I am going to be uploading. Thank you so much for watching. This is Firefly Parker. And the next time you see me, we will be playing Bloody Mary. Have yourselves a wonderful night, and I shall see you all tomorrow. Bye!